So you want to do a stock tank swimming pool, but put it in the ground? All right, we'll show you how we did ours. All right, everybody, so let's just jump right in and start talking about how we made our in-ground stock tank pool that can be heated to a hot tub. Now, I'm gonna keep this super simplified as each one of these topics could probably be a video of its own, but just for the sake of keeping time short, we're just gonna cover the basics and not get too far into the nitty gritty. So if you have any follow-up questions on any of these steps, reach out to us in the comments and we'll be happy to, to go back and forth with you guys to clear up any confusion and help you guys do whatever you're trying to do. First things first to get started, what we did was just bought a bunch of stuff. We went online and ordered all of our tools and all of our parts that we needed to create the setup that we wanted to do. Check the description of this video, we've got everything linked out and detailed as far as what everything is and what it's for in case you want to buy the same thing for your setup. The one thing that's really difficult to buy online and have shipped to you is the actual stock tank. We had to find a local tractor supply store that carried stock tanks um, for us to go pick up. And this was a bit of a process because we don't have a truck or anything, so we had to rent a U-Haul and haul it out about 50 miles outside of town and kind of sketchily load up this stock tank and bring it back to our house. So once we got our stock tank home, we drug it out to the backyard to the spot where we wanted to put it. We chose this spot because it was going to be easy to trench out the electrical, um, the hot water input and outputs over to where we are going to plug in the electrical and mount the water heater and place our you know, pump carrying the hot water and our propane tank that's going to be fueling the water heater. Once we placed our stock tank where we wanted it to be, I took a shovel and just went around the perimeter of the stock tank pool, more or less creating a guideline for where I'm actually going to dig. I pulled the stock tank out of the way and just started digging. I unfortunately ran into our sprinkler system super highway, so I had to reroute all of these sprinklers to get them out of the way of the hole where our stock tank pool was gonna be. Rerouting the sprinklers was surprisingly easy because Home Depot has some really cool sprinkler parts which basically allows you to just snap and click new pipe into place um, wherever you wanna do it. So once our sprinklers were out of the way, uh, I just kept digging until I was about 20, 21 inches deep around the entire inside of the circle where the pool was gonna be. I then dug an extension a uh, square that was going to be where the pump box is going to be located and also where the electrical and hot water input outputs would be trenched out toward the fence. Uh, ours is about 30 inches by 30 inches around uh, which is going to be big enough to fit the Intex pool pump that we purchased. I need to make sure that where I'm drilling my input output holes on my stock tank can fit within that 30 inch frame. I went over to the stock tank and I measured about 24 inches wide and I took the arbor saw drill bits. I drilled the two big holes first for the primary pool pump. And then I went ahead and also took the smaller arbor saw drill bit and drilled the input output holes for the hot water uh, input and outputs. After I drilled the holes in my stock tank, I went ahead and attached my input and output pieces and then I took some sealant and sealed these input outputs that I just screwed to the stock tank. I headed back over to the hole that I dug and tamped it down really good and leveled it, used some paper base to level that. And then I went on the outside of the pump box and dug a trench line toward the fence about eight inches deep 
inside of it I put a basic drainage pipe to encase the electrical uh, for the pool pump and also the hot water tubing going in and out from the swimming pool over to the fence where the water heater was mounted. We went ahead and grabbed the stock tank pool and drug it into the hole, obviously with the input outputs section fitting inside that 30 inch box we dug. Uh, it's time to frame and build the pump box. Now to do this, I just grabbed some scrap two by fours we had in the garage and built a very simple frame to fit inside of that 30 inch hole in the ground. And the lid we built was again, just some scrap wood that was actually at my mom's house that I stole from her garage. So next we wanted to clear out the area around the perimeter of the pool where we're gonna lay our pavers. We took out all the sod, tamped it down really well, laid some weed barrier down, some paver base, and put the pavers down on top. Now all that's left to do is to fill up the pool, connect your pool pumps, get that heater running, and jump in. Our pool is already heated up and ready to go, so I'm gonna head outside and have some fun. Alright everybody, thanks for watching the video. If you found it helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and we'll catch you on the flippity flop. <laughs> and you can follow us uh... <laughs> Your my mind just like goes blank. I know. I've been doing this for two days. <laughs> and check out our day-to-day -day on Instagram at Ditching Normal. <laughs>